still guys it's an exciting day the part that I was waiting for for the engine arrived so it was just a non-return valve so that the feed doesn't pull back water doesn't get uh, air sorry doesn't get in through the sort of the end through the swan neck back down into beer and oxidize the beer all right so i'll take you through the quick setup of what i've done i sort of chuck together but it works and it's all sanitized and ready to go all right so i'll take you through that show you how i'm going to hook up beer um, and then pull the first pint through the beer engine all right um and i'll talk about the beer while i'm on as well okay so So this is where we're at the minute, I was just checking if the line is still primed. This is what I was waiting for. John Guest, in line, one way, non return check valve. What I've ended up doing, because the silicon pipe doesn't seal that well, I ended up putting in some uh, old siphon tube that I chopped a bit off, um, popped them in heated up the tube, popped it over the other end and it's absolutely worth a treat. So I pulled this up, primed it through and then I've left this to see if anything comes out and as you can see it's pie glass empty, there may be a couple of trickles in it um, but that's been sitting there for about two hours, three, two and a half hours now so that showed me that it's not going to go back Valve's doing its job, alright so now I'll show you the full setup of uh, how I'm going to do it, alright, and then uh, we'll pull the first pint. Alright guys and girls, this is how we're going to do it. So I've got it in the cool box, got the electronic lid on, that's been on for a couple of hours as well. Inside of here, we have uh, it's a 20 litre poly pin. About 13 litres in there. Yeah, the tap's just down this side. Um, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to hook this all up. So this is a Galaxy Soft IPA. I was doing the Dennis King's Galaxy Delight and uh, the tap fell out of the mash tun, so I lost pretty much most of the water on the floor. Um, boiled up what I had left, and this is sort of the result. So, fingers. I put all the hops in as well, so it's going to be pretty damn poppy, yeah, so fingers crossed it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be pretty nice. Pop the lid to, and that should still be cooling. So I'm going to pull a bit through first, and I'm going to get my thin glass. And Get rid of that. Time for the clean glass. First one. So you guys, so I've got the white spotlight tip on that. This is the one that came with the kit. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to do. Let that settle out and see how it goes. There you go, guys. So, we are here. So, it's very hazy. Um, I'm assuming that's to do with the amount of hops left in it. As I say, I ended up only half the water. Um, and I put the full amount of hop in this, which is was 400 grams. Um, yeah, it's a bit cloudy. Head's sort of gone, but it's staying here. So it's the first time I've used the beer engine and the first time I'm going to try and get beer. That's really, really... Oh, God, yeah. 
really seriously meant to do is hop on that. Um, Colour is hard from being really hazy, as you can see. I'm not worried about that. Could be cold, chill, um, cold haze and a bit of hot haze. Um, but it's like an amber, sort of a wheat colour. Uh, definitely getting the citrus off that. It's amazing. So, let's go in, first taste. So we've started getting the hop and the freshness um, from the majority of the marisota in the, in the grain bill. Uh, but surprisingly, there's a nice mouthfeel on that, like it's got oats or something, and it really doesn't. I'm going to say it's the, the grain bill on this is a marisota, Vienna malt, and aromatic malt. Um, definitely taste aromatic malt in it. It's got that little sort of perfumey aftertaste. Um, yeah, I really like that. Loved using the engine. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to be using that more than anything. I know a lot of guys have got the corny cakes. And, uh, you know, the setup is great with the corny cakes and the taps and, you know, the carbonating and certain amount of time whereas you know, this uh, pressure barrel this um with eighty grams of dextrose for about, a, about five days the same amount of time as a dry hop so I put it in the same time and then I uh, on the fifth day cold crash uh, two days then after the two day cold crash it went half it went in a bottle um, which I'm hopefully going to be sending out to people because that should be carved up and ready now. Um, so yeah, if you do want to do beer swap, hit me up and we'll, uh, I can send you out some of this. Uh, I only did 20 bottles, so not every fucker. But you know, um, I've, I've got uh, a couple of guys in the vehicle that you know, I'm probably going to end up swapping some with. And then I put the rest of the batch, which is about 12, 13 litres, in the polypane. No extra um, priming. Uh, made sure all the air was out of this and stuck it straight in there because I knew I was going to be serving it out there. Um, couldn't be happier. You know, apart from being hazy, that tastes unreal. Um, I'm probably going to have to crack a bottle, compare the two. That might be good see what the engine brings to it. Um, I know that the white spot of the is the fine one, so I don't know if that's going to contribute to, to it at all, um, if I maybe should take it off. But any of you guys have got an engine and you know about sparkle tips and which colour is best for an IPA, um, that's to be honest, it's a uh, single hot pale ale, really. Um, then, you know, get in touch, tell me what what's going to be the best um, for this style of beer because I've got a party on Sunday which is going to be served at um, nice you know it's probably a bit cold actually um, but to run the conservatory I'm trying to think of a name for the conservatory brewery as well but if you've got any good ones you know pop them down in there and we'll see so yeah guys I'm going to top this up Carbonation for being heat stream on the side of the glass. Uh, top this up to a full pint. Get in, sit down, chill out. Uh, next video I'm going to be doing is with the uh, Bitterly Cross. So um, you'll see it when I do it, but I've actually added some medium dry malt extract to that to bring the alcohol content higher with my efficiency being low, and I'll explain the makings behind that when I, when I do the video as well um, and then the dry hopping of that as well because that's bubbling away nicely and I'm just going to wait until it's done 
so that's in the dry hot five days um, and then cold crush that and then I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with this uh, so there should be a video two videos and then a tasting video so I'm pretty much doing like a grain of glass on that beer uh, the first one I've brewed and um, that's pretty much it enjoy